What's up guys, it's Brent back here. And we're going back to some more Slay the Spire modded. So it's downfall, um, but we are playing with the Library of Runa, um, Dark Blade, and I meant to say these last time, I don't think I did though. Um, Dark Glade and Squeenie are the authors for this. Very fun, I'm enjoying the, even though we've only played one, I love the art on it, it's very pretty. And we're gonna go in with another one, standard. I'm gonna go in with the silent here. Uh, I don't know if I should be doing higher ascension levels. Maybe you guys have some opinions on that um, as we continue. Um, actually seen a fair few um, people come and watch, so thank you for that. And uh, that being said, while I'm doing this you know, introduction, uh, thank you for 100 subscribers. It's a small victory um, to some people, but to me, it actually means a lot. Uh, seven years of on and off YouTube, and I finally have gotten that. Uh, one of the many personal goals that I had set for myself when doing YouTube. So thanks, anyone, for watching. Um, it means a lot, and thanks for the people commenting. Uh, I know there's there was mentioned there was two other Library of Runa mods. Um, I added, I know at least one of them, uh, not to the set here. I want to go through the four characters first but to my like mod launcher um, and we might pick that one up. Uh, there's t I've seen the second one which looks like an add-on to the first one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's all in English so I'll probably play with it off camera to see how it integrates with what we're doing. Um, currently we got a pretty big list and I also grabbed a couple other character mods um, an abyss mod to add to there because um, the point of the series was always to add more mods so I think we will be getting into it as we go through. But for now, let's focus on the Library of Runa and see if we can, you know, get a W here or just get a little farther. Like a boon, random rare, could be good. Random common relic, additional. I mean, I still like the ego cards. They seem pretty powerful. With the silent, there's some that were really interesting to me. I'm gonna try it. Oh, well, we haven't seen any of these. Um, I don't know how to say that. Lightia? Latida? I'm not sure. Um, the first zero or one cost card you play each turn is played twice. Does that go to one cost? Refund one. To so play it for two, refund one. Okay. Interesting. Deal 40 damage. This card deals less damage as your HP percentage drops. Deals max damage at full HP. I will never have full HP, especially since we're just starting. That is definitely later. Apocalypse. 22 damage. Deals 50 more damage if your HP is at or below 50%. Damage to enemies with 50 HP. That's not bad. The single. So, more damage. I, oh, I took it by accident. I was going to read it. Uh, view upgrade. The more damage I've taken, it'll do a bit more. And then the more damage they've taken, it does more. So, I'm not, it's good for bosses probably, and it'll be pretty good for elites. And just a two drop AOE, I mean a two drop high damage card is not bad. Just generally looking, I like whatever this is. Pretty cool, it's like a, a bat shaped music note here. Um, but I think we're gonna go up the left. It caught my eye. Center path and up left. A couple of elites and some rest. Uh, four second murder, we know him. We wanna play three. No, every attack he loses one strength. The more attacks, the better. Um, I think we'll go one more attack. He'll go down to six. No, 12. He's doing no eight. I can do math. Um, but I think it's going to be better to drop the survivor here. Um, in terms of characters, I think I'm better with the ironclad, but I like the silence more just overall as a playable character. Uh, I love the idea of free cost cards. Um, and poison is always fun. Apocalypse into here. 33. Okay. Good card. Bouncing flash. Okay. Here's where we kind of decide. Are we going poison? Are we going? Because setup could work with the uh, apocalypse. That's pretty good. Um, backflip's always like draw with block is always pretty good. Um, it's just hands down better than any defend we could get. Bouncing Flask is good. There's an Ego card that I wanted to get that pairs with Poison. I think for the... I'll try this here. 
Um, these are the crazed employees. We want to... Oh, they just apply... To gain two strength and apply one Volt and Roll to themselves. So we really want to divide the damage up here, I think. That way we could try to kill them when they're vulnerable. Because uh, I'm frail and weak and they are vulnerable now. Um, this will kill one of them. I can't kill them both though. But if I do this and then this, and it's only three blocks, so it might have been better to play an attack. Um, but that feels not bad. Shadow blow there. Um, ten, but I think we got... Yeah, we have lethal here. Didn't even have to stretch very far for it. Blade Dance there. There's Bane. Pretty good. Um, Blade Dance is also a very powerful uh, card. I think it pairs really well with Poison if you could get in Venom. But I think Bane is just strictly better to start with. Uh, Fragment of the Universe. I like to kill you... So what we want to do is hit them and then I'm going to take the six because this is going to do it's not telling me just 22 I guess I thought it would do more than its base value but maybe I understood that wrong here uh, this is 9 plus 6 is 15 not quite enough I don't think I'll play it right now I think I'll play a strike but like I was kind of mentioning at the top, um, yeah, hitting 100 was always one of my goals for YouTube, which I haven't got to do it yet, but um, the poison's great. Uh, getting the custom URL, I always thought was cool. Um, so I could say, yeah, this is my YouTube channel, uh, you know, youtube.com uh, forward slash gold crown studio um, was always one of my big goals. And it's like one of those like milestones that some people hit very soon. Um, but since I've been doing it so long on and off and only really consistent here recently um, It's a it's pretty cool uh, I think I'm actually not gonna take the seventh bullet this time. We took this last time. It's uh, gain two strength um, And then whenever you play seven attacks take three damage I think actually rejecting it to remove a card is gonna be better with the poison build the strength doesn't really matter Yeah, it's good for the apocalypse, but we're building into a poison core with that kind of as a finisher I think I'd rather move a basic strike because I don't think I'd want to see it. I should have read that other, the rest of that, because we had not, but I'll keep that in mind for the next time. Uh, normal shop here. Um, don't really see that very often. Catalyst. Ooh, and these, I wonder. I haven't seen this one, but uh, the Capo, or the Capo, uh, AoE for eight, then permanently upgrades. Pretty nice. Erosion. Creatures with erosion receive. More damage from attacks, reduce one each round. So apply for erosion. A debuff this turn, this card costs zero. So it's like an additional damage per attack kind of effect. You remove an upgraded card from your deck, upgrade two random cards from your deck. That's actually super cool. All right, here's the question going in. Because we just started, we're nine minutes in. I want um, the Fate Will Fought. Uh, a fail fount of it. I don't know what the Crusaders map is. Sounds awesome. I do want the Crucible. If I remove a card from your deck, you may shuffle into your draw pile anytime. I want Vitrine. Uh, I want Decapo. And I want Catalyst. And I want Deadly Poison. Do I fight the shopkeeper? It's a risk. It's a high risk. And I think I'll try it. Okay, man. My, my man. Uh, this... Not exhaust. We want to kill him now if we can. Alright. He's going to get a bunch and he's going to do a lot of damage. So I want to get 200 damage here. Yeah, he does like 1 times 20. But as our health gets weak. Oh, he has. I didn't even realize he has so much artifacting. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I could have messed up. Uh, you really want thorns or something for this. Uh, take 20 here. It hurts. 15 coming in. Weakness is a deadly virus for this man. Um, that's kind of why I was okay with it. Can't play any attacks. Um, that's why I was more okay with trying it. Because weakness is so bad for this dude. One strength here. Apocalypse is 33 damage. It's going to hurt this boy. Um, so we want to continue playing. We're through his block. He's going to strength up again. 
Oh my goodness, so much damage. That is 60 damage. I think we're dead. I had to try for it. I mean, we are only the first one. Run was not stellar. I tried. But I'm not too worried about it. I did want all the stuff. Quick, quick flap through. Uh, we will not make the same mistake. You have to be on like the third act to fight him. There's no way to do it sooner unless you have like maybe an infinite <laughs> to ride out of the gate. Uh, except this. Let's go back in. Uh, cycle. Uh, random ego card. Sounds fun. Aspiration. Um, ethereal. Gain three strength. Lose half of your current HP at the end of combat. Heal HP lost by this card. Okay. I'm feeling like a shiv. So strength gain deck. Three elites here. A bunch of question marks. And a campfire. Same boss. So we are not losing anything. You, you, the first one's always risky. You can't, you can't be sad about that. Uh, so we're gonna lose 35 HP here. That is a, a uh, handsome toll to be paid uh, for some strength. Three strength there. Uh, we do need to get a card to benefit from it, um, or it's all for nothing, or all for nigh. Might be the better terminology, but uh, these are not it. Backflip is what I'm gonna go with, because uh, we are. Yeah, we did go back up to 69, so... And actually, our health is a little higher, I think. Uh, at the end of combat, heal HP lost by this card. Weird. I thought it would be lower because we took damage. Okay. Um, Funeral of the Dead Butterflies. And we have not seen. It sits there amidst the field of butterflies. A silent guardian for those who have fallen. It stands up and offers its coffin. Offers you a place to rest in this strange, chaotic place. You lie down in the coffin, the leg closes over you. And as the outside world vanishes, you find yourself dreaming of a place. Oh, we, uh, dreaming of pitch black darkness, a pure white innocence. Oh, a random upgraded ego card is powerful, but two removals is also pretty nice. I'm gonna do the upgrade card. Not the one I would want. Uh, black Swan. So we need to apply debuffs, which we don't. Um, because zero, shuffle this card back in your draw pile so you can continuously play it. Okay, that's better than what it was originally. Oh, uh, Violent Death. It sought out those who did not expect it most. It surprised them from the shadows and smothered them, smothers them in darkness. In the dream, you are both predator and prey. And as you awaken with a shout and shaking hand, you feel that part of you change forever. Cool. Continue on here. We are not taking Spyroco stocks. Can't make me. Um, as cool as that, like, mechanic is, it will kill you. Um, unless you are... I don't even know what kind of build would utilize those efficiently. Um, also, while we are going here and fighting uh, the Forsaken Murderer again, I do want to mention, so I did mention at the beginning, we had hit 100 subscribers. Because of that, I also am trying to decide if I want to do some kind of, like... 100 subscriber specials play some kind of game for you guys maybe do a stream um i'm taking suggestions currently because i do not have oh you can oh the stacking here oh that's disgusting um i'm taking ideas now if you want to leave them down in the comments um i'm gonna probably take a little time to decide i haven't um thought about it too much I'm going with the predator for this um, yet because it literally happened earlier today and it, I was not expecting it. I was kind of, um, I kind of seen that I had gotten an additional subscriber the other day, but didn't really think much of it because I've been at 98 subscribers for so long, um, that part of me was like, eh, it may happen. It may not. Um, no reason to, you know, uh, expect it when it, it hasn't happened yet but hey you guys made it happen so maybe i should you know expect the unexpected more often ooh, 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 ooh. we are paralyzed here um do that this is still 10 damage and then we can block for one. Oh, we're not gonna use aspiration doesn't matter but he's dead either way um so yeah if you guys have ideas uh, i thought about buying the new rim world update it seems really good um don't starve had and it might still be in beta, but I could I can upload get onto the like the beta branch of uh, Don't Start Together. They had a swamp kind of update. It could be fun just to 
grab some stuff and go explore those. I'm not going to know a ton about it um, because I haven't looked into it yet, but that could be a pretty fun run. Um, or we could just maybe do a um, a uh, infinite spire run and see how chaotic it could be. We could do it with, um, you know, maybe you guys pick a character that you would like to see and we just run through it um, and see how long we last. I think we did like one or two laps last time. Um, so that could also be a lot of fun. Um, but I'll let you guys think on that. Ooh, 20 damage here is not fun. What is your guys' nonsense? Man, the creature deals to a single turn. It removes all debuffs from itself. Uh, it loses two strengths at the end of the turn. He's just hitting very hard. Um, so we're going to do Aspiration. We're going to do Hit This Man. Then we are going to try to... Butcher them. Draw two cards and gain one energy. I'll probably do that because I want to draw maybe into neutralize. I didn't, but I can do another 14 or I could block for five. Uh, I'll block for five. If not, he may kill me. And technically we should gain 28 on the backswing. So I got to keep that in mind. These guys are not letting up my guys. Oh, and he also healed it, took off his debuffs. Uh, neutralizing here, so black one, neutralize. 14 and 14 is 28, you are dead. And it should be much easier now that that one's dead. So they charge and then alternate. Another aspirate, uh, I can do this again. Uh, 34, yeah, I just have to again. Uh, 21, 12. That is a weird like you can continuously half your HP. Ooh, that's scary. Um, and Venom's good, but I don't really need a rare card right now. It's not benefiting our deck it's too slow. I think another backflip. Old Rain. Whenever you pick up, choose a card, you always retain it. Um, Predator maybe. Sure, retain Predator for set up a big like a um. A black swan turn and then predator with the additional damage. Could be good. I don't see a downside in it. Ooh, I ha we haven't seen these. Worker bee and queen bee. Worker bee uh, just does 10. Queen bee has no additional effects. Uh, I th uh, Holding my hand up here, I didn't realize how odd they are with the, you know, a couple extra mouth. I really like the worker bee. The stance is very nice. Um, for someone who's trying to do art, I kind of, I can really uh, respect that. Um, ah, huh, 10 coming in. I think I'll black swan you. Apparition. Um, I will go ahead and survivor. One of the backflips. And then that's eight. I could go, I want to go ahead and start getting damage on the queen bee. Very larva. Aggression. Okay. This is pretty good. Oh, 18 from you. Oh, my guy. Um, I kind of want to see if I can kill this man. He's doing 12 now. How much does this do? 14. We'll put him down to 24. I can't fire pot over him then. That was kind of my goal. Uh, we'll do that. Bardo de Corpse. I don't know what that means. Block. Boost loyalty. So she's buffing him. Uh, he's super dead right now, I think. I think I'll fire... Actually... Doing 12. Can I get him to fire pot range with one? Nine would bring him down. Now that's just gonna break his block. This will kill her. She'll be at 20. And then block. No, let's do that. Block one. And then we'll take seven here. Be down to 10. But again, we're healing 20. Not the end of the world. And then we should be able to. Yeah, try to blow this man up. Um, 12. 18 for 21. He's down to 10. Um, and then we fire pot him. We get back. All right, not too bad. Secures nice. Flying needs also a way to boost energy to have some more explosive turns. Allrin, we've uh, we've messed with you before. Uh, start getting our swarm going. Uh, the flying knees great. Uh, I will go ahead and defend once here. I don't want to overcommit, and we are getting paralysis, so we need to keep that in mind. Uh, for when attacking her. 
I uh, will back up again. That gives me some more. There's Predator. We're going to hold that. Uh, and we kind of can overstretch Paralysis um, with our Black Swan. Uh, Black Swan. There's right now Black Swan here. Um, and this does 30 damage. And we'll draw two more cards next turn. And I will overstretch if I have to with this attack pot if I need to. Um, which we might. 19 additional damage. This does 22. And then the flying knee should do plenty. Yep. Art of War. If you do not have plenty of text on your turn, gain additional energy next turn. Won't happen very often, but I'm happy to see it. I'm not discarding. I don't need distraction. Skip these. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I think I'm actually going to skip this elite. I like our deck. I need kind of need the rest. To discard a single card at the end of your turn, retain it. I don't know if the I don't think the keys work, so I think I should just take the silk glove. We tried breaking a key last time and couldn't do it. Oh, we can read Art of War though. I can't do it as a free action. I need the rest. I don't know the mod good enough to try to justify that. <laughs> Small bank, I guess we'll take it. Um I kinda wanna get an upgrade. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's smith. I want to smith predator, I think. Or neutralize. I think it's neutralize. It's a little bit more of a defensive play, but um, I think it'll help a lot. Streetlight Officer. Um, we've read this one. Leave it on the screen for a minute. I think we can fight them if we want to. Yeah, fight special energy for 250 gold. And we will do so. I don't remember them being that bad. They buffed themselves and then attacked us. Like repetitively. Um, we're going to go for the extra strength here. And then we're going to play all of our defensive cards. I have the attack potion. So I'm not too worried about it. Seven coming in. We're going to backflip here. I was trying to draw back to neutralize. I'll be happy. I'll happily take the two. We have extra energy. And he's going to hit hard this turn, right? Yeah, 26 here. Neutralize for the win. So down to 20, which will kill us. Uh, Black Swan is free this turn. Don't know why. We have we have to play the defense. So predator here, unless I can kill him. Uh, let's attack potion. Last knife. It actually might do it. 16, 16, 9, 9. Oh, 14. Yeah, we just killed him. Sweet, 250. Liquid memories is fine. Another flying knee. I'm happy to take it. There could have been something fun with Nightmare, but I don't think so. Uh, so this one's three attacks to change his intent. Or three cards, right? Uh, we play three cards, you change his intent. I'm okay with him defending. I'll play two cards. Did more draw this time. 18. I do not want him to do that. So one, two, three, four. And he is happy. And we should have with two extra energy. We should be able to uh, end him. Poor sad face man. Has so many opportunities. Uh, if the enemy has weak, you can energy and draw a card. I like that. Kind of got this like pseudo energy in engine. Um, we are just going to smith here. I think. No. I think predators might go too. I need a high damage, high uh, effect kind of card here. Oh, this is the mannequin employee and the singing machine. Okay. I don't know which one's the... You're going to be a problem. Most definitely. Uh, so let's try to kill... He also has a lot of hit points to start off with. Um, we're going to try to get a lot of energy going to start with. We didn't, unfortunately. Now I let the apparition go. I don't want to half my, my uh, hit, uh, hit points to start off with. Uh, so it added stuff into my deck. And it gives strength to the enemies. So I don't know who I actually want to kill for. What is this? What, oh, what is that? Beautiful sound. I just get to attacks this turn. Backflip is exhausted and put into the singing machine. Then there are all enemies can turn for each card in the singing. So I need to play this. Which is kind of odd. Um, form. Flying me. An eight coming in. I'd rather not take damage, but I also can, would rather get nine more on him. Okay. Unforgettable performance. He put a wound in my deck. Okay. 
Grind gears. Take three damage. Remove one card from the singing machine. Add it to your hand. Can I see what cards are in here? Only a backflip is in there. And they are doing a ton of damage. Oh, that's rough. That's very rough. Um, I can't kill him. I can do this, which seems good. Defend. Um, Predator is 36. I'm also going to drink liquid memories. Put a card in my hand. Predator, it is zero. Another 36. You're dead. I am going to take 19 here. Um, but I don't know if this thing can bring back another dude. So I think if I can just continuously hit him with like flying knees and stuff and continuously grab stuff, I can be okay. Put another wound in my deck, but he actually didn't hit me. 24 damage. Neutralize is great. He wants to put this in here. Should have done that first. 18. We have to defend. Grind gears. Take three. Give me back left. It also stunned him. And Predator is just 43 damage. So let's do that. I didn't realize that would stun him. Does it say that? Uh, and I have a stun. Uh, and it stunned the same machine for one turn. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, black spawn. Um, I kind of want to backflip right here. Uh, I don't really want to give him that. Go ahead and grind him again. Stun him one more turn. I don't want him to do anything else. He is at 69. Perfect amount. Um, I cannot kill him, unfortunately. Kill hook's a bad turn here. I guess I'll predator. And then hope for a better draw next turn. Get me close. Six. He's not attacking, though. Swan, neutralize me, and you're dead. It's going to be a, a hard next turn, but part of it. Wraith form is always interesting, but I think Fantasmal Killer could be a good setup card, though. I think I actually will take it, because we can hold, because, like, Black Swan plus Fantasmal Killer plus Predator, the good combo. Play an attack, play the top card of your drop off attack, otherwise discard it. I'm not taking Runic Dome. I don't know what these guys do anyway. And you guys would like to see what they do. Not taking Sneko because I don't want to be confused. I don't have enough cards to facilitate a Sneko run. Um, we're going to take Poet's Pin. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, continue our ascent here. Second floor. We've never seen this boss, but uh, we're going to try to. A 700 gold. It could be worth going to an early shop here. Let's see. So there's two elites here we could go to. Early, early shop. Two elites. How many rest? I think the rest should facilitate. I think the rest path either. Three elites on the far left. But it's not great. Uh, here. Rest. Rest. I think this is where I'm going to go. And then take an easy rest path up to the top. Search for wisdom on these scarecrows. Next turn, your attacks are doubled. I don't see why not, because I'm going to Survivor. Discard that. Should be good. We should be able to put some damage in now. I want to exhaust some of our stuff. I don't like that. Um, Black Swan here. Double damage for our... Oh, we can back go back here. Oh, they're double damage Predator. 49. 17. Oh, and I played the top card. 49. Played another one, but it was not the right one. Uh, okay. But well, Poet's Pin, I think, will be interesting. If we can play some cards, yeah, and get free energy like we did here, it's going to be really good. Um, nine, Phantasmal, Black Swan. We're pretty much using our free energy to facilitate playing extra cards. Next turn. So if we get cards that are good to play, that might be too expensive, it could be good. Yeah, Poet's Pin. I I'm going to like this, I think. I've never really used Poet's Pin, so we should see. None of these are what we really want. Setup is almost interesting, but I don't think so. Oh, a preserved insect, you know what I'm saying? And from all sides. Um, very enemy in combat. Heal each other. Oh, there is some, there is some stuff here. Okay, let's talk about the obvious. Preserved insect would be amazing. It's just good. 
Um, speed training is fine. Random card, exhaustive two. It's just like a bunch of decks, exhaustive three. Um, from all sides is also amazing. Mimicry is also amazing. And is there anything I would Dolly's Mirror? Black Swan actually would be awesome. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this on Black Swan. I re I'm really enjoying that. I think you take Preserved Insect always. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to take Well-Aid Plans too. And then from all sides, leave the Mimicry. But healing 13 would be a lot for the Silent. I mean, next week, I'm, I'm gonna take them off. We just made a bunch of changes, but they're pretty good. <laughs> oh my, oh what? Uh, transform a card, then upgrade it. Uh, this is Church of Gears. I like this a lot. Um, my worrying sound. Uh, you hear uh, bones cracking, blood splattering, and joints breaking. And through it all, an intense whirring noise fills the air. The hooded figures next to the noise machine turn and face you. Join us, stranger. Join us and you'll be free of your heavy thoughts and worldly burdens. Okay. 21. Where are we going next? We have a shop. And we, we're going to rest and upgrade a bunch of cards, I think. I'm going to take the upgrade and duplicate. And I really think... I don't need two X-Cost cards. Another Flying Knee would be super good. Another Mimicry would be good. Here. What's Mimicry do on the upgrade? It lowers cost. 16. We could be playing it for free, but it also could clog up our hands. It exhausts itself. Another upgraded flying knee probably would be great. But it does it I wish it gave more energy on the upgrade. It was my like my uh my complaint. Hmm. Almost side, what's the upgrade on that? Four damage? No. Not good enough. Hmm. All cards in here. Okay. Maybe well laid plans, because well laid plans becomes does it become zero? It doesn't. It, I think it used to become zero. The hard one. What's aspiration do? I should just look at a bunch of these. Four strength? No, it's not worth it. Because it also exhausts. Neutralize is honestly the best target, but we can't pick it. So I think in I think I want to pick an attack. I think Mimicry is too, too slow though. That's also going to exhaust. I think I'll take a Flying Knee. And we'll take another copy of it. I'm not too sad about that. You sit down in the machine and feel as if a vice has clamped itself over your head. The whirring noise grows louder and louder. Dull pain uh, flares higher and higher until suddenly it all stops. Your head has never felt lighter. Got a haircut. Shaving a haircut to be exact. Oh my goodness. What is this? This deck. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. I might try fighting the shopkeep again. I haven't learned. Our deck is better. We are up here. I'm thinking about it. Uh, apply two week whenever you play this card. Uh, the same enemy three times. Instead, uh, apply three stun and exhaust this card. Eh. Exhaust up to three cards at the start of your turn and gain one energy. Oh, we've done we've done hum homing instinct. Uh, oh, exhaust up to one card. You can't stop me. Risking it. Oh, and this is a, a risk and a half. Okay. Uh, from all sides would be not enough damage. I actually cannot kill him. Uh, we got a backflip. Uh, I don't know if I can still. I can. You do this. You do this. I cannot kill him. And he just gets away. <laughs> uh, bad chance. Because I think Preserved didn't take He fled. No, he just wants to shot. Okay. It's fine. We might have died anyway. Ooh. Hunter in the dark. Big and will. will Big and will be bad wolf. Interesting. Okay. 15 coming in. Survivor. We're going to drop the basic strike. Flying knee is great. We played a neutralize, which is also great. Backflip here. Okay. Taking no damage, extra energy next turn. 
Ooh, from all sides, it's pretty mexy here. I think I backflip first. Black Swan from all sides. I want to keep the weakness up. Uh, most definitely. Predator here now. We are bleeding now. Ooh, he's... he's Ooh. Uh, hun, uh, skull, untargle, and immune to damage for one turn. He's dealing 18 this turn. I can do this. Th I can't target him at all. That sucks. Because this is a good hand. These are great things to apply. Um... Yeah. Hard to retain. Uh, we're retaining Heel Hook. Even though I want to retain Black Swan, I think we'll draw another one. Alright, he's back. You suck. I'm going to Mimicry you in the head. Um, then Mimicry, then backflip. Hope for a... Well, Heel Hook first. Eight. And another one. He's down to ten. Actually, Goodbye. Mimicry just kills you. Sixteen. There we go. And I do like that it turns the whole screen red. Um, none of these. But he's randomly split among enemies. This is kind of cool. Apply that much. Huh. Could be interesting. Um, I'm going for the rest and the... I need to upgrade some cards. I also want to do some reading on the Art of War. Uh, from all sides. It's just more damage. Phantasmal Killer being zero makes it more playable. Uh, okay. Test, which is Mimic. That's fine. The Mimic's actually kind of hurt. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we're going to just neutralize. Play an... Ooh, uh, play a heal hook. Reviver, play a phanta- oh, drop a phantasmal sword. And more damage. Yes. Yeah, we need to get some of the fins out. That'd be good. Okay, heal hook here. Got another card, cannot play it. Um, 23, you are a... A, a mean, mean man. Um, or a mean, mean chest. Well, he plans is great. Uh, he's already weakened. As good as that would be. I'm kind of tempted just to play two defend. And then you play this. That still hits him, though. I gotta remember that. Retain the upgraded flying knee. Take an 8, which kind of hurts. But we have the mimicry. We can really punch him in the head. We are weakened, though. That kind of sucks. Uh, I still want the... Goodbye. Can't kill him, but we can play it. Um, and I want to keep a flying knee. Aspiration hasn't done much. It's just so much HP to give away. And I cannot... Unfortunately, justify it. Oh my goodness, he has hurt me. Um, we're gonna fly knee here, play at that. Oh, if we would well, we can't. Come off that right. We're gonna weaken him and just take 18, I guess. Retain or defend. Man, just hurts. He just does such consistent damage. All right, we're gonna play a strike. See if we can get another strike off. Um, I'm gonna backflip, I guess. Black Swan. Backflip again. Do I flying knee or do I defend again? Flying knee might play another attack. It's also 13 damage. My draw pile is... I could play Predator, which would be really good. Take 8 will put me down to 4. I'll try it. Oh, I played a coin. Retain to defend. I don't think he can kill me this turn. I mean, next turn, so... Yeah, he's not even attacking. Um, and it's double Black Swan. Predator for 34. And then strike here. Oh, we didn't play another one. But he is dead, so. It, it was painful, but we got through it. It makes not, me not want to go to chest. Bajor's one strength, which is great. Honestly, just a slice would be good. Because attacks play other attacks. Uh, we are resting, unfortunately. As much as I don't want to. Um, we're going left path. And probably going up through the bonfire. Uh, boomerang, put the fourth card you play each turn on top of your draw pile. I'm not going to do the mental math for that, but good try. Uh, I'm going to read one of the Arts of War. I don't remember what the Art of War does when you upgrade it, but I want to try it. Nothing there. You hear your joints twisting and breaking up ahead. Like someone was trying to contort their body into an unnatural position. Peeking through the corner, you see a grotesque figure toying with the bodies of several fallen figures. More bodies led to the ground nearby, victims of this fortified monstrosity. As tragic as the scene was, you wouldn't pass up the chance to take some of the spoils of the battle yourself. Special relic, goodbye, the first attack you play each turn deals double damage. For a writhe? Yeah. 
I'll take a goodbye. Uh, you quickly dart forward, snatch the first viable trinket you see, but despite your attempts to, to the attempts at stealth, the creature still turns and snarls at you. A blinding headache assaults you. Indict words, indict words pound your, uh, against your brain, trying to turn your head into mush. Hello, good boy. Hello, good boy. Hello, good boy. Despite the pounding headache, your feet manage to carry away from the twisted creature. But no matter how far you run, you can't get those words out of your head. Good boy. Alright. Pretty weird, but I like it. Um, children of the city. The machine thrums in rhythm with the heartbeat of the city. Every footstep cause the machine to shudder. Every handoff comment causes it to rotate. Every wayward deed displaced its pin a little. The weaver thought it was beautiful. The city creating press prescripts for the people to follow as a parent giving instructions to their children. But she was not a part of it, of that. As a weaver, it was her dirty to prepare prescripts to not to receive them. Yet she desperately wished to be part of the city's life. Wipe or urge to resist. Give a card in your deck, retain and exhaust. I'll take the relic. Strawberry. Okay. Uh, it wouldn't hurt if she took one for herself, right? She was the children of the city, too. It was her right. Swiping the next priest with the machine printed out. Uh, she looked at what instructed the city for uh, what instructions the city had for her. Do not go home until you finish reading the value. Reading the value of E. Interesting. Uh, we need a remote card. Ooh, King of Greed. Looks like more of a queen of greed, but... And then we have... Uh, fragments of Bliss. Gain 30 block. This card is not affected by block modifiers. And you are... Use a powerful attack in two turns. Alright. Phantasmal Killer. We're going to lay in some damage here. And also prepare for damage for next turn. Because I can't block anything here, really. Yeah, unless I... Do something else. We are weakened. Sucks. 13. These things still don't attack. Mimicry could hear me 21 here. Or 25. That's insane. Goodbye. Yeah, that was worth it. I don't know what it said, but it said something weird. 22. Take 13. 22 here. Block for 3 now. It's just worth hitting them more. Alright, big attack here. 43 damage. I think we can just kill him though. Uh, 10, 10, yeah. Go for the swiping kill, yeah. And you're dead. And your minions are dead. Perfect. So it was better just to go for her. I was unsure. I think any of those blade dance was tempting, but... Ooh, a messenger of the index. Ooh, I like this mechanical robot. Another day, another prescript delivered to some poor, hapless soul. Sneak needles into your friend's birthday cake. Cut off your right leg and eat it raw. Wave to the first pedestrian you meet in, on the streets. All of them seem like such pointless, meaningless prescripts. But it was his duty to deliver them nonetheless. The messenger glanced at the final prescript delivered today. Uh, take the heart of the one you learn. Uh, deliver it, fulfill several conditions after obtain a special relic. The heart of comet randomly chew between. Uh, play twice. I would rather move a card. We're going to discard it. We have plenty of things to discard, uh, most notably the doubt. What a cruel, wretched order. Enough was enough. He was done with following the absurd vile orders. He was done with forcing them uh, to follow the hellenious unspeakable commands. He'd grant the people of the city what small mercy he could muster. Crumbling the final priest up, he took a pen and paper and, gave it and began writing. All right. Do I rest? Do I read? Remaining one. So I could just go ahead and do it. Boop. Oh, it does not unlock. It's one after this one. That's fine. Alright, we have another ally. Little Red Riding Hood Mercenary. And then Wolf and Her Nightmares. So they are doing uh, 16 to me and 21 to her. She... If she lands a killing ball on the wolf, you win. If the wolf dies to other means, kills the fool and enters in rage and becomes your enemy. So she needs to kill them. Okay. 
That's going to be hard to muster. Uh, I'm going to block some. I don't know what happens if they just kill her. But they are doing 36. And they're not affected by my erosion. Ooh. Okay. A 10 coming for me. Mimicry would be great here. Uh, neutralize. Everything's double damage. So this is 66 damage. So yeah, I should do this. Goodbye. And he heal the full. Neutralize. Play another one. Fly knee for tons of damage. I kind of just want to continue while I have the double damage here. Yeah, that was worth it. Okay, she did heal. Uh, yes. Creature deals on black damage to his turn. Gain three strength. Okay. A uh, heal hook's great. From all sides would be good, but I'm just going to do black swan here. Uh, predator is nice, and then possibly a defend. And then we'll defend here. So she's dealing 24. Oh, and this will do some amount of damage. And play another card. Alright. Not too bad. We've kind of got the deck set up in a pretty good way. 50 here. Uh, I just need to kind of coast. The black swans are super nice. Uh, 14 that I can't really block. So 36, 35. It's dead to Little Red Riding Hood. So let her get the kill here. There you go. Your duty has been fulfilled at last. Like it. Uh, after image is always pretty nice. Um, double a skill. I don't want to add more skills. After image is good because I can add it. But Atomic Bomb could be played for free. And that's why we take it. That's why we take it. Because of Poet's Pen. And we might be able to play it naturally with the amount of energy we have. Mm, at the start of turn, draw one additional card. Uh, card in your hand is picked. You cannot play others while that card is in your hand now. I think I'll just take Serpent's Ring. More card draw is never bad. Continue the ascent. Up and up and up. Azalith. I like them. They're like a little, like a puppet mouth person dude huh okay let's look i'm always leaning towards question marks here uh this is not that great bonfire here is nice bunch of question marks rest question marks early shop which i think will actually be nothing now atomic bomb we cannot play mimicry we could but why um not a great opening hand i do need to remove some cards um, okay. Not the best, not the worst. We're gonna take some damage off the back. Days. Okay. Aspiration from all sides. To random enemy. But I wanna do it anyway. Let's play another card. I was more going for like the weakness around. Um, I don't want aspirations here. Actually, aspirations would have been pretty good first. But I don't think we would have killed them, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, you're all weak. Draw the card. Go ahead and neutralize. Continue the weakness on them. Oh, uh... I'm gonna finish you off, I think. Yep, and then defend. Add. This should be as easy as just... poking them to death. Okay. None of these are necessary. Shop. Oh, the shopkeep's actually here, and I can fight them again. Okay, interesting. First time in you, you, first time each turn you have ten cards in your hand. Game win energy. That's weird. Potter greed's fine. Twilight manifest. Manifest. But that's from it's from an anime. Don't know which one. Um, you'll fit and apply week equal to the energy paid. Uh, for by manifest to all enemies. Uh, when you have insufficient energy to play this card, you may instant exhaust one card for every energy missing. Ah, uh, I don't think I need that, but it's interesting. Return, uh, gain one energy, draw one card, and freeze one. And freeze one card, so frozen cards are unplayable and retain. Actually, not too bad. Do I have another shop up here? Not guaranteed, but I'm just going to remove. Nothing here is interesting me. I mean, there's interesting things, but 
Getting the curse out is also pretty good. There's also a lot of the fins I would really like to remove. Um, so we'll continue. Oh my goodness. Lungs of craving and heart of aspiration. Alright, slice. Uh, go ahead and neutralize. There's a free heal hook. He'll hook you then. Oh, I did the wrong one. Um, that's fine. Mimicry. Heal for 14 would be nice. That kills me. Goodbye. Goodbye. And that's fine. Take 10, but we already healed some. Ouch. And that, so the heart gives strength and the lungs continue to attack. Backflip. Backflip. Um, we are almost fully healed. I'm going to Aspiration here. Then Flying Knee. And then Defend. Take no damage and we should be prepared for double damage this turn. With the additional strength, should be pretty good. There's the Atomic Bomb. Um, I can just blow you up, but I'm not going to be able to play anything else. 14 to all enemies. Yeah, this should do it. Yeah. Atomic Bomb, 100 and something damage. Ridiculous. Super words. Ooh, I like the shade of green. Got this, like, spooky lamppost. I like it. So, Prince of Silence. Uh, every, every time... Whenever you play six cards in a single turn, end our turn. Ooh, that's fortunate. And then you're just aggressive. So I'm kind of going for you. One, two, three, four, five. Start at a bomb. There we go. That's it. Ugh. You're the attacker. Draw one card. Stolen time. And I'm going to kill you first, my dude. Sorry. Uh, heal for 14. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Phantasmal killer. Slice. Okay. I actually cannot kill them. They're doing 19. I don't think I can, at least. Yeah, no. Backflip here. And I have one more. Go ahead and hit them. Yeah, nothing for free. Take some damage. Oh, and they're being blocked. Okay. Price of silence. Um, I mean, I can just predator you out of existence, but it feels like a waste. I wish I could weaken them. Actually, this seems like the best. Because after two hits, it should circle back to the other one. And then worst case scenario, I'll energy potion. Yeah. They're super weak. And what I'll do is I still don't want to take 14, so I'm going to energy pot. Heal hook to get the, some back. Stolen times are now just free draws. Black Swan him again. 15 additional. 57, they're dead. Cost of one potion. Not too bad. I don't think I need another backflip. Thought about it, don't think I need it. I do like, I think the most out of this Runa mod is the amount of variety on events. Patron Librarian of Philosophy. Greetings, I am Binya, the Patron Librarian of the Floor of Philosophy. I've been told that, uh, told that this place feels overbearing unlike the other floors. I wonder how you would describe the library from what you've seen so far. But I must calm your mind with the help of tea. Please come again at a later time. i will at least help you with anything you're looking for at the time. Use one of 20 cards. Add to our deck. Ooh, and they are all upgraded. Very nice. Um, I mean, outmaneuver, riddle with holes are both... I'm thinking outmaneuver, honestly. It sets up, but we are, well... Actually, Riddle with Holes is another high damage free card, though, that we could end up playing. Yeah. It also works really well with strength. Uh, you say your goodbyes and leave with a collection of books in your hands. They're oddly heavy, but you don't mind. The books provide you with some of the wisdom, wealth, honor, and power you seek. Okay. Also, do this upgrade. If you do not play attack uh, during your turn, gain an additional energy. And attacks deal double damage next turn. So, okay. So, we did finish reading it. What to say? Uh, upgrade on mimicry would be good. Upgrade on atomic bomb is important because this actually could just end a fight in addition to anything else. Promise of winter. Hello, my friend. Uh, aspiration here. I'm gonna take a risk, but uh, 16 times time seems pretty good. Pretty good. And there's minion on death. Unfreeze all frozen cards in your hand. So she is going to try to freeze us. All right, we have hurt her already. Nothing's frozen yet. Okay. Neutralize. Atomic bomb. 
Uh, this seems like it could be good. Well, if it plays wrong, though, uh, I could always... Let's slice. Goodbye. Okay, mimicry. I mean, I don't think I cannot kill her here. Unless I'm just really lucky, unlucky. But, yeah. And we healed there. Uh, expired coupon, reliquary. When you reach 70 or more total unblocked damage dealt in... Combat deal damage on enemies. Okay, that's fine. I don't think it's necessary. Alright, each turn. I have one shift to your hand. I have don't think I've ever done a scrap shank build because we've not done a lot of the normal characters, but it'd be fun. It'd be a lot of fun. Um uh, with holes here. Uh black swan here. Does each one of these Oh wait, you have something weird with you. Uh receive fifty percent less damage from attacks when you gain block. Uh, creature loses that much HP. Oh. Weird. Okay, I mean, I'm okay with blocking. Uh, we also should remember Art of War. Uh, I want to kind of block more, but I don't think I really can. Uh, we should play from all sides. Oh. Yeah. Does a ton of damage, but... I'm still gonna take 17. So I really need to mimicry next time. Burrowing heaven. Yep, and mimicry is eight. Oh, I really need to play it. Goodbye. Okay. I'll do that. I need to heal. Slice, play a strike. Three here. It's worth the point. Uh, the potion. They're still dead. And we got another potion anyway. Um, crippling clouds, good. Not necessary. Uh, okay, question mark and ship still going for the bonfire here. Don't be a mimic. Okay, Dodd. Uh, put an upgrade copy of every eighth unupgraded card you play into your hand. That's fine. Uh, for those we cherish, I have a problem. He gulped. That didn't sound good. My anniversary with Exio is coming up soon, and I still cannot decide what to do for it. Never mind, the director was just being a worry wart as usual. Surely you have some ideas in mind. I thought about buying something cute for her. Or maybe I should improve her armament for her. We are a combat-based association, after all. What do you think? Something cute? Uh, Lowell's good. The start of your third turn, gain two strength and one dex. Or something practical, upgrade a card. 120 gold. Strength and dex is good. Fights go fairly long. Uh, and I don't really have anything necessarily I would want to like upgrade. Like, yeah, mimicry would be good. Slice would be fine. Well, like plants would be good. Let's just do the gold. <laughs> it's a teddy bear. Uh, I think you should get her something cute. It's more sentimental jester. And I think she would welcome a reprieve from the blood and iron of our work. Director nodded. You're absolutely right. There was a nice plushie I spotted in the nest. It'll be perfect gift for her. Director rushed up to make her purchase. A sigh and relief. Crisis averted. Oh, you. Ew. Oh, if I had one more energy. Uh, I can't do anything about that. All right, actually, the, what we're gonna do is just triple defend here. Uh, we're going to use Art of War for a powerful next turn. All right, and take no damage, of course. Riddle with holes, flying knee. I mean, yeah, double damage here. Um, I wish I had an AOE. But hopefully, we can like half create one here. You're dead. Yeah, this was a bad turn for playing cards. Uh, I'm gonna drink this. All right, calculate gamble. Discard three cards. Uh, endless agony. That first. Okay, discard three. One, two, three. And then riddle with holes is 50 damage. Worked out. Potions are, are winning us this time. I'm actually remembering to use them, which is surprising. Yesterday's promise. Oh, uh, I, I, even the ants, like the, the options are bad. <laughs> Through the shadows, you can make out an upright figure as he paced towards you the sound of their step of their steps echoing as they move across a marble floor your vision enhances as you can identify the figure the figure fully a blue top hat 
gray skull, fashion with a dapper monocle, a black suit fashion with a blue tie, and a blue insignia on the right sleeve. Though you have no idea what it represents, into the Senate too prematurely. The distortion known as Yesterday's Promise stands right before you, a contract grass in his skeletal fingertips. I can give you the power and help you desire, provided you sign the contract. How about it? All right, what's the relic? Whenever you have insufficient energy to play a card, you may instead pay five energy for everything missing. I gotta reject. We're I'll be down to ten. We have an elite fight next space. This it would be super fun. Reject the contract. You hold out on the offer. More powerful would be helpful, but the whole ordeal reeked of suspicion. You feel like you made the right decision. And I did, because uh, we are fighting the Shrine of the Blue Star. And they have explodes on death and deal 15 damage to me. Uh, if this creature HP is at or below energy, it will suicide on its turn without triggering Matra. Okay. Phantasmal Killer. Oh, I really just want an atomic bomb here. That would end the fight. 10, 10, a lot of damage from all sides. We can, I gotta do this. Discard. Backflip, I guess. Discard, well, uh, atomic bomb. I'm never gonna be able to play it. Well laid plans, and then from all sides. Could add a little bit of weakness. Save this one HP. And the rising star is just gonna continuously defend, it looks like. Oh my goodness, just the amount of damage. Ow. Necessary now, and you're gonna do 15 damage on explosion. I mean, I don't want you to do that. I'm gonna hit the back one, but I might end up dying because of our actually our poet's pin. Well, and then hitting me. Yeah, 18 and 35. I'm not getting out of this. Unfortunately, I don't think I can. Um, we're gonna try. I have an idea, but aspiration. Um, yeah, neutralize. Oh, if I blow them up, I'm dead. Black Swan. All right. Here's the plan. Uh, uh. Oh, I won without dying. <laughs> Whenever you block damage, exactly gain one energy next turn. Never will happen. Uh, dash is awesome. Can I rest here? Oh, the blood shop. I can't buy any. Oh, but blood shops are awesome. Two HP. Can't do anything, but, it, but let's look at this. Uh, replace a uh, bird skull. Your innate cards uh, have refund one and draw one card. Really good. Hot poker, whenever you draw a card during your turn, deal damage equal to its cost to a random enemy. That's fine, pretty cool. And then these are like the really good ones. Lose 100 gold, immediately kill a non, elite non-boss enemy. Changes max HP on creep by 50%. Future boss chests have one additional relic to choose from. And card removal for 5 HP can be used any number of times. This would be awesome. That's like one of my favorite parts. It is dangerous. Now, here's the question. Oh, we do get a rest. And a... It's a rest and upgrade. Pretty good. Heal hook is fine. 23 to go against Twilight. Alright. They have... Some weird eggs here that I don't know what they do. I'm actually going to go ahead and drink the strength potion. I'm a little bit concerned. 18 coming in. Black Swan and Dash. 37 to start with. No free plays. Ow. We're getting dazzled. They're hitting us again. Oh, and I think we're just dead. Because my, it's my defense. I have no more defense. They're not weakened. Uh, let's see if there's any weird effects. Whenever you receive unblocked damage from this creature, shuffle one dazed into your draw pile. Cycle between three different eggs. Every two turns switches the active egg. After losing 100 more HP, the current egg is disabled. Egg from the cycle. After egg is disabled, it will be more powerful the next turn. Oh, good. And we got to play the defend. And we got to kind of play the predator, I guess. Oh, I mean, that's some damage. But I, yeah, I think... Yeah, 21. He's doing 28. They got us. We just came in with too low. Uh, I felt like we did pretty good, though. 
overall three floors in um yeah try again tomorrow as it says that's what i'm gonna do it was 11 o'clock so that's what i'm gonna have to do um but again that's gonna do it for this episode guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did uh there's a like button down there please hit it for me it lets me know what you are enjoying um subscribe if you want to see more again 100 subscribers i just hit hopefully you know it won't take another seven years to get 100 more if i ever do but um yeah let me know what you guys are enjoying comment if you have any questions if you have any game suggestions all that kind of stuff i love hearing and i love responding to them uh, makes me feel pretty nice but i will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>